Hi friends, I welcome to all of you. So today we'll see gate problems. This is the gate 5, 2 marks problem. For the polar plot of un uh, conditional stable system for k equal to 1 already given is given. Okay, this one is given. The open loop transfer function is known to be stable for. So the k values are given. For stability we have to find out because they mentioned to find out the k value for the system stability isn't it so can i construct the nyquist plot uh, for this given information because we have seen how to find out the stability by nyquist criteria and if you have the polar plot you can easily draw the nyquist plot here we go like this isn't it and you have to cover it once like this okay the direction is clockwise so this is the Nyquist plot and we have to check the system stability and for the stability we have to find out the k values okay but where is the k k is not given so k is 1 given for the k equal to 1 the graph the plot is like this the this value is 0.2 this value is 2, this value is 8. If I will consider k over here, so can I write like this? Can I write like this? If you will put k equal to 1, you will get whatever is plotted initially. Okay, so all the points you can multiply with the k. And if you will put k equal to 1, you will get the whatever plot is given in the question. Now, now you can check very easily. Suppose your point is here minus 1 plus j0. This is your point and this point is here. So you will draw this line and uh, before that you will find out the direction. This is the direction. Here is the direction like this. So if your plot is here, when this plot will be here? When minus 1 plus j0 will be inside when your minus 0.2k point the magnitude the case 1 let's take case by case the first case is always consider the magnitude the magnitude of this is minus so it will become plus I'm taking if should if greater than 1 so the, the first condition the case 1 we are checking this point should be greater than this then only it will be inside of this isn't it you are, you are getting me i think so this point is like this in this condition it will be k greater than 5 point 0.2 10 will go this side yes k let's check the uh, stability encirclement clockwise here minus 1 clockwise here minus 1 n is minus 2 p plus minus z plus not mentioned you have to check take 0 this is the conditionally stable system and for stable system definitely it should be sorry sorry this is not mentioned so this is minus 2 minus z z equal to z equal to 2 if z equal, z, for the stable system z equal to always a 0 so this is not a stability this is unstable this is unstable range you cannot find out now let's find out for this region if your minus 1 plus j0 is here let's find out here the encirclement this is plus 1 this is minus 1 encirclement is 0 encirclement is 0 so in this reason definitely it will be true that n equal to p minus z p is not mentioned you will take 0 z equal to 0 no closed loop poles outside of the uh, imaginary axis means no closed loop poles in rh plane of the s rh of the s plane isn't it so this region will be definitely stable so what are the k values number one this point should be greater than this means 2k should be greater than one number eight condition and this over here this one should be greater than this one should be greater than 0.2 one should be greater than 0.2k actually so k is for this k 
should be greater than 1 by 2 and for this system k is less than point this 2 10 this is 5 so this is condition for stability that k should be greater than 1 by 2 and less than 5 so we are getting anywhere this condition yes we are getting this condition here and what about k equal to less than 1 by 8 the option b is given that is uh, k should be less than 1 by 8 ok let's check it so this thing is over now if your point is here here it's minus this and uh, minus this so minus 2 here also unstable system and the fourth condition you can take here minus 1 plus 0 in this condition also your system is stable encirclement is 0 so the point should be that 1 should be greater than 8k means k should be less than 1 by 8 so this is also condition of stability so option b is correct ok so like this we have to check the stability ok very easy what we have done first one by one we have checked the so suppose point is here first then here then here then here four conditions you have to check ok if you are considering your point in this region in this this point should be greater than 1 so case 1 we checked see point 2k is greater than 1 isn't it this point was point 2 this point is greater than 1 so here we are getting this but system is unstable if you are the formula is n equal to p minus z z if this p is 0 your z should be 0 this one is not mentioned so z should be 0 in any case for system stability so like that and this we have done and one more thing if you do not want to uh, you know do this in the polar format you can do by rh criteria also how three poles mentioned to you point 2 point 8 sorry 8 minus 2 and you can fr frame the transfer function actually Your transfer function, open loop transfer function will be a s plus point two, a s plus two, a s plus eight. You can easily find out system stability, isn't it? So two ways. One is you have given with the polar plot, but you are making it n p, and in the n p, it's very easy to find out the stability. So one point is this, and the second point is you can frame the R H and you can find out let's come to the second one come to the second one this is 0 3 1 mark problem the question says the Nyquist plot of the open loop transfer function is shown if the GHS has one right pole already they mentioned closed loop poles means which value they have given uh, so they mentioned the one right hand pole for the GHS and they are asking the closed loop system is always stable, unstable with one closed loop right hand pole, unstable with one, uh, two closed loop right hand pole, three closed loop. Okay. So very easy problem. I think 30 seconds you can do it. What they have given? They have given P equal to 1. Isn't it? The formula is, the formula is N equal to P minus Z ok encirclement let's find out encirclement clockwise so plus 1 1 is given p is 1 minus z so z equal to sorry z you are getting is 0 if z is 0 your system is 100 percent stable only one option always stable ok so like this you have to do let's come to this the Nyquist plot for open loop transfer function GS with negative unity feedback is soon shown if GS has no pole in the RH plane they clearly mentioned if you do not have any pole in the RH of S plane 
the number of roots of the system characteristic equation in the Rh of S plane is. So, this is the diagram minus 1 they mentioned over here. Everything is given and they are asking the number of roots of the system characteristic equation. The roots of characteristic equation is nothing but the po closed loop poles or not. Closed loop poles is what? The roots of C, isn't it? You know very well. The characteristic equation is 1 plus GHS equal to 0. This is nothing but the poles of closed loop. Poles of closed loop system, isn't it? So, the very famous formula n equal to p minus z encirclement find out you will draw the line this is minus 1 this is plus 1 encirclement is 0 and no pole they mentioned if gs is no pole in the rh so this is 0 z z is 0 you are getting it means you have 0 poles in the rhs roots the number of roots of the characteristic equation in the rh of s plane so you have 0 come over here this is the fourth one and uh, this question came in 2011 one marks one mark okay the question is only zero is given five plus j omega the nyquist plot corresponding to g j omega is uh, so you can find out magnitude g omega that is five square plus omega square is that it and what is this at omega equal to 0 omega equal to 0 this is 5 and this thing at omega equal to infinity omega equal to infinity is infinity so you cannot apply any format procedure whatever we see in the polar why because we have seen magnitude at 0 should be greater than magnitude at infinity then only we can proceed according to the uh, polar plot here we do not have so simply we will reply like we will check at omega equal to 0 the, the the magnitude should be 5 at omega equal to infinity the magnitude should be infinity so in which it's given at omega equal to 0 this is omega equal to 0 omega equal to 0 omega equal to 0 omega equal to 0 so this omega equal to 0 it's given 5 correct at omega equal to infinity this line is going to infinity everything is correct option A is correct isn't it this is another important point we have to discuss encirclement about minus 1 plus j0 and encirclement about the origin for this the standard Nike's plot the formula is given for this this encirclement only that is p plus minus z plus this is the encirclement formula for the Nyquist plot correct this encirclement we are taking over minus 1 plus j0 point only Nike's stability for the Nike's we are doing this you know very well where this p plus is nothing but open loop poles in rh plane this this is the closed loop poles in rh plane isn't it but if you will take this about the origin then formula will be same p minus z but here this p will be open loop poles this z will be open loop zeros if the question is asking like the encirclement about origin so about origin the formula will be n equal to p minus z where p is open loop poles and z is open loop uh, zeros okay if your transfer function is like s minus 2 s plus 1 s minus 3 isn't it so the encirclement about origin will be p minus z so open loop poles in the rh plane that is 3 number of that is only 1 minus this one is also 1 so 0 0 encirclement around origin Okay friends, so, so this is all about the Nyquist plot. You people have any doubt, you can post on our Facebook group. Definitely, you will get your answer there. In the next class on, onwards, we will start the study space analysis. Okay.
or state space analysis. Okay, friends. For new updates, you can subscribe and don't forget to like and comment. You can find us on the Facebook for the doubt solving. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care and bye.